Hey everybody, this is Carrie Beam recording for you from the University of Arkansas for OMGT 4853 Introduction to Data Processing, otherwise known as your very favorite Excel class of all time. This video is going to show you how to make a homework dashboard for your homework. I've got a copy of Homework 4 here in front of me, and we are going to make a dashboard here. So the first thing you need to do is type something like your name, and this is the student's name goes here. So if I am Mickey Mouse, and then you're going to put the date, and today is April 30th, 2015. Now the next thing you need on a dashboard is a couple of problems. Now I'm going to have each problem correspond to a sheet in my worksheet. You see down here my first one is called One Histogram, so I'm going to call this guy One Histogram, and I'm going to make that a little bit wider there. And now what you need in a dashboard is you need how many points you earned and how many points are possible. So for the you earned, what I'm going to do is I'm going to push an equal sign here. And you notice that's doing an equal sign up here too. Um, and now what I'm going to do is for my formula, I'm now going to click on the histogram sheet and I'm going to go over here and I am going to have it pull off of a cell in here. Now since this is a manually graded problem, I actually don't have a place to pull from yet, so I am going to set that up. But right now I'm just going to click in A2 and you've noticed it's now got the one histogram sheet. The exclamation point says it's a cell within the sheet and the A2. And now I'm going to push the Enter key. So now it's got a zero here because there's nothing in that cell. If I go back over to my histogram here, I'm going to make these cells here some colors just so they show up pretty pretty. I'm going to make this one blue too. I'm going to put in cell A1 here, your points, and total points. And I think I'm feeling optimistic. I think I'm going to give this 10 points and I'm going to pretend that I've got a great histogram and I'm going to give it 10 points myself. If you feel like you've got a good one, you could certainly grade your own. I will go over and review and either agree with or change the grade. But I'll put some points in here just so you could see. So this is a 10 here. And now if I go back to the dashboard and you look, you could see I've got a U earned and it's 10 points there. If I go back to the histogram and if I change this to a 6, then if I go back to the dashboard, you could see I've now only earned 6. I don't like that. I like earning 10. So I'm going to go back and give myself 10. Now the next thing I need to do is the total possible. And I can do that in two ways. I could either do my equal sign, do my histogram, and now click here on the total points possible. And that'll put it there beautifully. Uh, the other way I can do it is if I didn't like that, I can just copy this. I could do a control C to copy that and then push over here and do a control V to paste it. And you'll notice just like with other relative and absolute referencing, this is a relative reference. There's no dollar signs there. So what's A2 here, if you copy it one thing to the right, it's now B2. All right, the second part of my dashboard is going to be my histogram with bins because it's going to be this fellow over here. And I'm going to have to do the same thing. Um, I think I'm going to get a little clever here. I'm going to go to the histogram. I'm going to copy this entire block here. I'm going to go over here and put it there. Then if I go back to the dashboard, oh, your earned, I'll make that you earned. Now I'm going to push the equal sign and I need to go all the way over to this sheet. Hook that up like that. And then the last example I'll do is um, max, min, and count. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to come over here. Now if you notice this one over here has some auto graded codes in it. So for example, find the maximum of each row of numbers and put the result in the green row maximum box. Well, let's see if I can if I could do that. Oh, not all that many. Just do it enough see if the auto grader will give me my three points. Okay, it's given me my three points here. Um, it's going to be kind of a pain to link each one of these guys up to that front dashboard. And so instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and take the your points again, put it up here. 
But now instead of just a plain old 10, I'm going to have this be the sum of all of my possible points from down here. And the total possible, I'm going to have that be the sum of the total possible. So if you look here, this is showing now that this is the sum of these guys down here. And my total is there's a possible of 20 points. Eventually, if I completed this homework, I would like to think that I would get 20 points with my counting. But for right now, let's say that I only got three points. If I go back up here, and for those of you who don't know the keyboard shortcuts, I'm holding the control key down and pressing page up and page down. Page down moves one tab to the right. Page up moves one tab to the left. Um, so now I'm going to do an equal sign for you earned. And I'm going to go all the way over to max, min, and count. And you earned this one here. So you'll notice this is linking to the your points. And the your points itself is summing up everything below. And then I'm going to copy this over to the right. And then blah, blah, blah. OK, so we're going to do all of the rest of those. Now, the, ne last, the next thing we need to do is compute a total. So you are not going to write blah, blah, blah on your dashboard. You are going to fill out the rest of the sheets here. Now, we're going to do a total. You guys know how to do a total here. I'm just going to sum these three as the total. You are clearly going to sum more of them if you need that. And now, the last thing we need to do is convert it to a percentage. Well, this particular score, I've got 23 out of 40. So what I do is I do the total I've earned divided by the total possible. That's going to give me, ooh, 57.5%. I'm going to change that to percent format here. And then I'm going to do out of 15, because that's what this homework is for. Um, that's what this particular um, instruction says. Compute the percentage. We did that. And then make it out of 15. Well, 58% of 15 is 58% times 15. So I put that in there. It's 8.625. And I would say take this just to two decimal places, or just to one decimal place. And that my Razorbacks is how you do a dashboard. You need a dashboard like this on your homeworks from now on. These guys need to be coded into the sheets. They can't just be a hard coded, like you can't just type a 10 here. It needs to go back. If the sheet is a manually graded one, you'll need to set up something like this in there. If the sheet is an automatically graded one. Some of the grading is done for you down here. You'll just need to set up a collection point up at the top and then have it all funnel back in. You also need a total. You need a percent. And then you need it out of 15. Um, you don't need the blah, blah, blah. That's up to you. And that is how you make a dashboard.